This is smithy.tv. Here we go. All right, so soon we are in the studio again, and you know this is like actually take two, everybody. So just, <laughs> I wasn't actually going to mention that, but why not? It's why take not? two. Uh, so it's going to be shorter, time. faster, sexier than before. <laughs> I am not bringing the sex appeal myself, <laughs> but we are very excited to uh, to have one of the hidden stars, one of those like she's like an Easter egg of Orphan Black, on in the studio with us, uh, Catherine Alexandre. Oh look, I did mostly right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Cheek to use the one. Yeah. Fringe it. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you for finding time. Thank you for having me. And of course we're we, still finding time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, still we're not running out the door. Now of course we did already ask her what her favorite movies are, and we're not gonna tell you because they're hidden now. It's like an Easter egg if you can find them. <laughs> <laughs> but they were really good movies, so there's that. Yeah. You know, one of them was had Elizabeth Taylor in it. The other one had Claire Danes, and one more had oh my god, I just blanked on her Julie name. Andrews. Thank you. There you are. I guess. And she sings. Does that narrow it down? <laughs> <laughs> that slim it down for you a little bit. They're really girly. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we we got we talked ever so briefly about how you got bitten by the uh, by the bug, mm -hmm. the acting bug, because you started like dancing when you were like. Three. Yeah. Yeah. And you did like the whole ballet thing. Yeah. Which was funny because I remember my sister doing that when she was a kid doing the whole ballet thing. That's all she ever did. Like I think she did it for did like a year. Did she grow up in Ancaster as well? No. <laughs> Might have been better for all of us if she did. Oh. That's not true. He loves his sister. He's a big fat liar. Not that fat. <laughs> You're liars. <laughs> yes it is. So but uh, of course everybody is very excited because of your huge involvement in Orphan Black. You're like, well, you're like the Easter egg in, in Orphan Black because, like that, yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> we can use that. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I know, I was going to say unsung hero, but she's not unsung because Tat like sings your pieces yeah. so highly. Yeah, it's every true. Time. Every time she's we spoke, the, yeah, she just raves about you, which is, who's, who, you know, having Tatiana rave about you, that's got to be pretty <laughs> awesome. It is. Yeah. She's, she's too sweet. She, yeah. It could have been a disaster, I think. Mm -hmm. She could have been a bit of a diva, but, but she's the complete opposite from that. So yeah. well, she good. gives everyone their praises, and uh, the majority of it goes to her. Oh, she's yeah. She's pretty awesome. She is pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, and you regaled us with a, with a tale that apparently only took a week, but it sounded like a very full week of, of how you got cast. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Run me through it again. Sure. Um, Just in case. <laughs> so I'll do like the speed version. Yeah. yeah. So first audition, just with the casting director, I played Sarah, Katia, I think Allison, maybe, and they were just like my interpretations of them. Um, they were looking for a stand-in who could act at the time. Um, and then I had a second callback with the casting director and John Fawcett, the director, co-creator. Mm -hmm. um, same thing, just acting my own interpretation of them. And then I had another audition with Tat. And we worked off of each other and stood beside each other and they looked at our bodies <laughs> and how we would match. And then I did a hair and skin tone consultation of sorts and, and then the rest is history. Yeah. It's still awesome. Even the second time that we've heard it, it's still <laughs> awesome. So there you go. And we, working with Tat, I mean, how, how symbiotic and how creative, what's the creative back and forth like between the two of you? Yeah, it's, it's pretty vibration there. <laughs> it, um, it's, it's vibrating between us. So it's, yeah, lots of chemistry. It's exactly like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's an interesting line that I chose on my part because I, I don't want to be influencing her and I just kind of want to soak it all up and, mm. and she's the mastermind behind it and then I just study her and creep her and watch her <laughs> and walk behind her and stuff like that. Um, but it's, an, and every once in a while there's, she's really, she likes to play and she likes to improv and she likes kind of little things thrown at her that she's not expecting. So oh. it's nice that she kind of gives me a bit of, of um, ability to just do my own little touches <laughs> as long as I'm stuff. still 
looking like her from behind. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's an interesting balance. But but yeah, she's pretty open with with finding stuff out together and most cool. of the time I just watch and awe and learn and <laughs> recreate as much as I can. <laughs> now fans are of course going to get a chance to actually see you as you in an upcoming episode uh, number nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're playing Alexis. Yes. Now is this like another clone or is this just is this someone else? It will be a character of my own with okay. my face. So <laughs> not a Tatiana clone. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like, there you go. So you can watch for it. That will be the Easter egg right there. You will actually get, which I just, it still freaks me out, all the technical stuff that goes into making a scene. And the fact that now you're getting a shot to be like on screen as you, that's just cool. Yeah, it's that like cool. It's like a little nod and say, thanks, and here's something special for, you know, for you yeah. and for the fans who actually know you exist. Because like I was saying with Sue before we started yeah. that, as soon as we found out that someone like you did exist to help create the show, we had to have you on. Oh, well, because, thank you. Right? It's just like, that's just so cool. It's pretty cool. And it's like, of course you exist, but you don't think about it because that's how seamlessly it's yeah. all put together. And that's how it should be. Forget, right? so. yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> should see if Tad will play your hands. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, we don't match very well with our hands. That's like the, our hands and our feet are huh. minor considerably smaller than hers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever see two clones holding hands, one looks like a child and the other one is Tatiana. So. And the other one is Tatiana. <laughs> That's it's, awesome. It's pretty funny. I'm totally going to watch it. That didn't happen. Just, just watch and you'll be like, oh yeah, her hands I'm are really, really small. Watch for that. <laughs> I don't think it's the tats are big, mine are just small. So. <laughs> I guess that's why the clones aren't holding hands all the time. All yeah, the time. exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason, because yeah. otherwise they would be, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, do you have like a, a favorite clone to play? Um, I like playing Allison, <laughs> because she's just funny and desperate, and <laughs> but funny in her, in her personal struggles. So it's, and, and playing with... Um, with Christian and kind of in that world is, mm-hmm. is a lot of fun. Um, and like Asima is just so much fun. And I like wearing her costumes and her glasses. Right. And <laughs> Rachel's fun because she wears cool clothes and she's just like <laughs> <laughs> badass and still, which is cool. I think that would, yeah. She's very that's, stoic. Yeah. The way she... That's probably a really good description of her because she is. She's so still. Yeah. yeah. And that just, that tends to scare me. Anything. Yeah, more than you see because she's, she's there and you know she can she can fuck things up. Yeah. You know she can, but she's just still and that's just crazy. Yeah, power. it's like right? don't yeah. poke the bear. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And then of course you got to you got to run around in a, in a white bloody wedding dress for a little while. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty cold and wet <laughs> and, and long hours. Disturbing. Soaked in blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was funny having the because we had to kind of disguise Helena so I was walking through like hotels all hooded because I was covered in blood and like a wedding dress with this massive blonde wig on and people don't even notice so I was in an elevator and people are like yeah nobody looks at anybody I think it was just Matthew Bennett he was covered he had like a big gash on his face and blood running down him and we were just in this elevator and no one said anything does that say Patrono? <laughs> Next time carry a stereo that's playing Helena's theme song. Yeah. <laughs> that would do. Holding like a tail. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing. Actually, I can just totally see that happening in an elevator, too. Yeah. I think that's, that's really what our Halloween costume should be. <laughs> There's probably going to be Only a lot of that. Only we won't do it for Halloween. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think, well, at, uh, at Fan Expo, what, there was there was a Cosima for sure. Mm-hmm. There was a couple Sarahs. Might... Sarah's higher. Helena would be an easier costume to pull off, I think. Like, to make it... There's less that you have to do to make it obviously her. Yeah. Like, Sarah is harder, I think, because she looks normal. Yeah. She's wearing, like, <laughs> Basically, that's yeah. what I'm going for. Yeah. Helena yeah. does not look normal. I think there's a lot of Helena's Beth. In the, yes. the cough. Yes. The blue shirt. And mm. I've seen lots of that. And the... Duke that she had on her. Yeah. Oh my god, I so forgot funny. the Duke. Yeah. I need to go back and watch all the season one just because I can. And the muffin eating. Right? I love that. Just, yeah. just those little character moments are just yeah. fantastic. That's why I love her. 
she's great. And I think really, she just wants to be loved. Yes, yeah, so by she's Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> she's too creepy. <laughs> Oh, she she just me. needs to change that dress. That needs to happen really oh. soon. I'm yeah, not going to get through a season. Mm. It's the most disturbing wedding dress anyway, and then on her. Right. It was gr- and now it's covered in blood. <laughs> I'm looking at Peter Outerbridge in a completely different way now. Yeah. I trusted you. <laughs> Bob, what would Lorna say? <laughs> oh. And then you were actually telling some some of the goofy things, like the things that people wouldn't know, like uh, how you have to hide behind them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always just in the corner, <laughs> hiding under couches, or right, and that's yeah. that's to make like, transitions shirts. for yeah. stuff easier. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like we had the Katya scene in the car in the first mm-hmm. season, and Tao was acting on her own, but the car doors still had to open, so it was kind of. We hadn't really figured it out until we got onto set. And then I was like, who's small enough to go over the passenger side, the driver's side, and open and close the doors and not be seen and have, like, cats still coming in? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) A child to come in. She can work long hours. That's great. (laughs) Got a new name for you. You're welcome. Yeah. (laughs) I don't go far. <laughs> but I love that because it's, it's literally, well, like you said, it makes it so seamless because these are things people don't think of. Yeah. And in my class the other night, they were talking about if you don't notice the cinematography, if you don't notice the, the lighting, if you don't notice these things, that means the story's really good yeah. and you're totally yeah. caught up in it. And people are. I mean, this thing is huge. Because I thought it was big in Canada. But of course, you know what, with Times Square this year, it's just <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous, and then of course it's big in England. It's big. It's big everywhere. I had yeah. no idea. I mean, and what is your reaction to like you know the fans, especially the ones who find out that you exist? That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and they're the diehard. They really right? dug to <laughs> find me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's you, everyone says that you don't expect a show to become what it is mm-hmm. if it's a hit, and and it's it was really that for the show. Um, so it's, I never expected it, and I certainly never expected anyone to know who I was. Um, so it's cool to have people figuring it out and be interested, and, and I love behind the scenes stuff. So I think if I was a fan of the show, I'd want to know who that person was. And, and watching, um, Enemy, the Jake Gyllenhaal movie, where he was putting people on. And now I'm noticing it, Moon. Uh, with Sam Rockwell, right? which is an awesome movie. Yeah. So now I'm going back and being like, oh, <laughs> there was another person. Who were they? I love yeah. that. Well, and like I said, yeah, it's like the Easter egg. It's, it's, yeah. Or finding that bar in Toronto that's hidden somewhere. I think I could pay more attention to Continuum, too, because they've got different timelines yeah. going on now, so mm-hmm. sometimes there's... And the following? There was actually one of the... The following yeah, guy's yeah. amazing! Yeah, the... Who was it? I think... Sam I Underwood, remember. I think his name is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's playing, and I actually thought it was two guys. I'm like, obviously they're trying to make them look different because one's got his hair combed back and one's forward. But otherwise, <laughs> then I was like, oh my god, it's the same guy. <laughs> I actually, it did not even occur to me. Yeah. So his, I can't remember his name right now, but his double messaged me on Twitter and was like, hey, great work. I'm sure we'd have a lot of t- to talk about if we met up. And I was like, yeah, totally. So that's, that's pretty awesome. cool. That yeah. is cool. <laughs> You guys should guest star on each other's yeah, shows. <laughs> Can we still pull it off? Yeah. <laughs> now, besides Orphan Black, of course, you were, uh, you've got like a little other short film on the go you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's called Bound, and I produced it. Um, and the director is Brian Kowalski. He's writer, director, editor. Happens to be my boyfriend. Yeah, so and you know make things, yeah, <laughs> Easy to make things together. Um, yeah, so that's in post right now and editing. When you say short yeah. film, what are we talking like in length? Like 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's a piece for two women, which is great. He's quite the feminist. He writes a lot for women, which is Good. cool. Nothing wrong Good man. So. Not enough of that happening. Yeah. Speaking of 10 minutes, should we take a break? <laughs> we're going to have a quick break. We'll, we'll be right back well. after this <laughs> commercial thing with Sue talking about yeah. alcohol. This is smithy.tv. Can you say that? No. Why not? Because I'm playing into this microphone. Yeah, play with the microphone and say, this is smitty.tv. This is smitty.tv. 
It's true, that was a great advertisement. There probably wasn't one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if there was, we loved it. <laughs> but yes, we are still talking with it. Catherine, who is very tolerant and has put up with us a lot this evening, actually, yeah. without being too judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> so far. So far. Yeah, just wait. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Yeah. You just wait till those cameras stop again. <laughs> I'm actually bruised right here. We're recovering it, is what we've been doing here. Mm-hmm. She's tough. <laughs> I have small hands, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they bruise. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you, of course, have done your little short film, which sounds actually really good, so when it gets released, let us let us know. Yeah, for sure. Because we will cover the shit out of that. Because <laughs> we love that stuff. And you, you've done other things, though. I mean, Orphan Black is not the only thing on your resume. You, you've done uh, you've done a couple short films, mm-hmm. uh, and, of course, you did a Saving Hope last season. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun, a little role. <laughs> yeah. Which I guess you would probably know better than I do because Saving Hope is not as far on my radar as it should be. It should be. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So, <laughs> so is it, was it season two? Like, was he still in the coma? or, or? Mm, No, he was out of the coma. <laughs> okay. That's all I knew. <laughs> yeah, how did we go? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I, pl- I played a girl who had been ejected from a car in a car crash during a blackout. So they went and they picked up uh, my character's girlfriend and took her to the hospital and then I was the one that was missing. And they missed her. And I was still in the ditch somewhere. (laughs) So I kind of of looked like Helena. My hair was like (laughs) up here and it had like twigs in it and and I was covered in dirt. Yeah. How was that? It was fun. Did they save you? Do I need to watch the episode to find out if they save you? You might have to. Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) It was called Saving Hope, so. It's yeah, true. I, All right. I, I was saved. <laughs> I was saved. <laughs> but they don't save everybody. No. no. They save most people. Most people. Yeah. That makes the ones they don't save that, that it much resonates more. more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like House. Anytime somebody actually died on House, like, oh my god, <laughs> he's not going to be okay with this at all. The third option did not work this time. <laughs> Which is why I stopped. It wasn't sarcoidosis. It wasn't MS. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> all the same things that they tried. Yeah. Now, of course... Uh, you do watch and do other things. I mean, you you, you dance. Do you still dance? I don't. I need to more. But I, I danced ballet for about 12 years, and then I did like three years of tap and four years of jazz or something like that. And then once I got into university, that all kind of stopped. No. No. <laughs> I'm a goodie. I was like studying. <laughs> Did six years of school and four. Oh, pretty much. Oh, be a better dancer. Yeah, yeah. The wow. program I did was a, a joint program between Sheridan College and U of T. So I did like a four years honors in theater and English wow. and double majored, and then I did like a full conservatory program. So it was a busy. A busy I'm gonna university. leave now because Same. she's obviously much smarter than I will ever be. I'm just gonna go Indeed. sit in the corner. Now. I'm not even gonna pretend to talk to you about anything now because you no, know, she's the smartest person in the room. And I'm just like, dancing clone, dancing clone. <laughs> <laughs> Can there be a dancing clone? Yeah. That's fantastic. But, yeah. Uh, so you yeah, so dancing kind of stopped then. Well, okay, well that makes sense. I need sense. to build it up again. Because six years and four, that's ridiculous. It's pretty busy. It was good, though. It was fun. I guess. And now it's great to not have to write essays. So <laughs> it, it's even sweeter. Yeah. yeah. Did you get to do a lot of Shakespeare? Because I love the yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah. Love yeah, lots Shakespeare. of Shakespeare. Um, my fourth year show was uh, written by the director of our program, actually, and he kind of took um, really powerful female characters throughout Shakespeare and all kinds of um, classical theater and mashed them together into their own play. Oh, wow. Cool. So I played, and you know, we all played a ton of characters. I played, like, six men that were just, like, feeding the other women. And then I played uh, uh, Vittoria Corona, and I played, who else did I play? Lady? Did I play Lady M? Or I played Macbeth. So it was... We all had kind of like our main female right. men played these other men feeding the other females, and it was cool. So we did that, and it was all kind of um, iambic pentameter and doing all the verse and Holy lots of crap. other Shakespeare throughout Holy four years. So it was cool. I wow. like it. Do you have a favorite monologue? Hmm, there's so many. I I like Lady Macbeth, so I'd like to play her at at some point in sure. my career. Yeah. Down the line. <laughs> Later. Yeah, down the line. Be covered in blood like some other time. <laughs> oh, it sends me back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting back to my roots. Yeah. My blood-covered roots. <laughs> just, yeah, see, that just... 
I love that scene at the end of season four, episode four, which is when, which is the episode that's just aired for those of you who watched it at home, because this will be up after episode five. But episode four has just aired. I saw it about a month and a half ago, and I've been waiting desperately to be able to talk about it because the last thirty seconds. What the shit? Because <laughs> I was lit. I let. We were literally sitting on the couch, and of course Daniel comes flying by the screen, and I just I'm sitting there, and, and I just, oh shit. <laughs> and then Helena comes around the corner. And I'm like, we're fucked. And then, <laughs> and then of course. Sarah just completely loses it, and oh yeah, she's had a mental break. Yeah, <laughs> she's not gonna be okay. I mean, just from just from Sister. an emotional standpoint, Good to see you, that had to be tough to shoot. Yeah, yeah, that was a tiring day, and not only was was Tat and Sarah needing to be so emotional, but also yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So we just and it was hard to kind of take us down and so you would end up being up there for a little while oh, and <laughs> so it was which is kind of good when and I think Tat kind of likes that too if you're in that state to just sit just in it there. and yeah. you kind of have to be forced yeah. into that um, but yeah it was an intense day and we were in really small quarters because we were on location so the crew was kind of tucked in where they could be, and then there was this pristine wow. bathroom that was all marble and mirrors. So <laughs> talking about hard to hard film and, and, and blood everywhere. So it was it was an interesting day, but it was fun. Yeah. You now the scary thing that just popped into my head as we're just talking about how emotional it was. I'm thinking, and I bet the next day they had to come back and do something completely different. I mean, there was probably no break after doing something that draining. You know. I'd be like, I need a weekend off now. Yeah. Whereas I'm sure you guys are right back in there the next day. I'm like, let's go shoot somebody. Yeah. Let's play Allison now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that would just <laughs> that takes a lot. I mean, not just not just acting skills, but that takes like perseverance and and stamina. Yeah. I mean, not just for not just obviously for Tatiana, who's on the screen playing the role, but also on your part. I mean, you know, you're there doing everything with her as well. Yeah. That's gotta be exhausting. It is, but it's it's so much less exhausting than what Tat's going through. Oh. So there's always that. I have absolutely nothing to complain about. <laughs> so I'm like, bring it on. Anything that you can lessen her load with, yeah. I will do. Well, that's so, cool. So yeah, it's yeah. and it's so much fun and it's exhausting. But you, at the end of the day, you're like, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> tired. But that was cool. Now, so. I bet. And I can bet because I've already heard part of the story. <laughs> 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 that because you're on the show, you get asked all the time what happens next. What's going to happen? Yeah. Who is the most notorious for asking you stuff like that? Oh, definitely my family members. Yeah. So probably my brother. So they can probably, like, if, they, if you lie to them and say, that's not going to happen, they're going to know that you're lying to them. They, they try to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as good of an actor when it comes to my family and trying to lie to them. Yeah, so they're usually, they'll bounce things off me and try to gauge my reaction. And my brother-in-law is good for that, too. My brother and my sister will be asking me questions, and he'll just be <laughs> staring at me, trying to figure it out. But they love the show, so they're always trying to get stuff out of me. Do you watch the episodes with them? Yeah, usually. Cool. Yeah, okay. because I don't have space where I am in Toronto, so I usually go to my parents' house, right. and we all watch it together, and it's fun. Everyone just gets together. And, yeah. Yeah. And during the commercial breaks, they just start yeah. 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 <laughs> You can have more popcorn after you answer this question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's evil. And, of course, you, of course, know everything that happens this season. And she actually told us, well, the camera... That's not true. <laughs> not true. We were, yeah. <laughs> that section was lost. <laughs> yeah. Lost forever. <laughs> so, I mean, like, because I, I was talking how it was just tough for waiting the five weeks to be able to talk to, like, Sue about this week's episode. I mean, you know everything that's coming down the pipe. Mm-hmm. That's just got to... You got to feel like you're lording it over everybody at this yeah. point. So guess what <laughs> happens to your favorite character? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> government secrets, government <laughs> secrets. <laughs> Oh. Now, if you had to be one clone for the rest of your life, who would you be? Oh, whoa. Like for the rest of your real life? Or yeah, for your real life. Wow. I... Well, I just mean like, for I don't know. Fictional the career? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh, that's hard. 
if Cosima wasn't sick, right, and that's killing me, then she'd be pretty cool. Because yeah, that, that yeah, it's is, killing her too. That's pretty yeah. cool. Oh. So, I got <laughs> so upset when she first started to get sick. I'm like, no, no, she's the coolest. <laughs> no, then she's the smart one. She's I know. The, I love how Tat plays her too, because you can hear like her voice is throatier and uh, huskier is the word I'm looking for yeah. when Cosima talks now. And, and then they she'll cough, cough, and they're like, yeah. Oh, I, I, I literally like wish every sick. time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm like, oh I think Tech gets to play a bit of, of her own physical <laughs> exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably easy to tap into there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you guys spend a lot of time offset preparing with one another? Do you guys, like, is there a lot of back and forth there? I mean, because you, you talked how she's kind of created the character and you get a chance to play with it, but is your input on both sides or does she come to you and say, I want to do this? Um, she's, she's so busy. So I don't think she has time offset <laughs> to do anything. Um, <laughs> not even now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, not even now. She's always Tat. doing something. I think she sent me a text and she was like, doing ADR and it was 5.15 in the morning or something oh and she sent the text. God. I think she's always busy. But, um... Yeah, she's a robot, isn't she? She, I think she might be. <laughs> she might be, and she has really cool moves. So, <laughs> I think she could be. But there's, yeah, there's a little. It's kind of it's in the downtime of when we're filming the scenes is usually when we have time to mm. talk stuff over and and especially if it's a newer character or a first season when she was developing them and I kind of just pick her brain and. Um, yeah, but I don't want to ask her too much and take her away from her yeah, own prep, yeah. so it's always kind of juggling the balance. But but she's she's super cool and likes improv and playing, so <laughs> there's usually some discussion and That's some freedom. Cool. And yeah. yeah. And you were talking about hypothetically talking about when um, <laughs> a situation would come up for one of the clones that they hadn't encountered before, and you'd end up having to play the scene first. Yeah. And then you'd have yeah, to talk yeah, about, yeah. like, hey, I can see why <laughs> I do this. this. <laughs> yeah. What would Rachel do in this situation? Yeah. Where would her hands be? Yeah, so it's... She would be angry. <laughs> 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 she would be very stern. Yeah. Can't trust that, Rachel. Just can't. Yeah. And it's so weird because we, we were talking about this as well, how it's Tat, it's Tatiana playing all the roles, but you just kind of disassociate, and it's, they are completely... Formed characters, yeah. Which not only speaks, of course, to Tatiana's ability, but the fact that you're you're get there giving your all as well, like in complete support of these characters and bringing them to the screen, and that's it's stunning. I mean, mm-hmm. the work you guys do is fantastic. Well, thank and you. and cool. I'm totally watching now for like little kid hands and yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> when clones are running around walking hand, which doesn't happen. Often, anyway, no. so I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Sarah and Allison, yeah, like, yeah. skipping. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that's gonna happen. Yeah. She's scrolling through phones. Those yeah. are usually my hands. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's little things like that that a lot of. A lot of just regular viewers don't don't make the connection with. I mean, they're like, oh, yeah, they just shot, you know, so-and-so looking through the phone, and it's obviously Tatiana doing it, but yeah. no, it's not. It's Most of yeah. these insets and stuff are going to be you. Yeah. Yep. The best one, It's like I said with the, the pouring or the drink. Yeah. When Kasuma yeah. poured Sarah a drink or refilled her glass or whatever, that was when my brain went, <laughs> yeah. and then I just kind of moved on. I was like, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're gonna say something about the best one was. Oh, the best insert that I had to do was Helena eating the Jello in the diner, and it was eating the Jello and writing the number on the napkin, and she was because Helena's left-handed. Was she doing everything with her right hand though? I think for that scene she had to do it for her right hand. So the Jello was with her left hand though, and her hand, Tat's hand, was so contorted on this spoon. And I, I was know, trying she was to. Like... She was like doing something weird like this, and it was Jello covered in sugar, and I had to eat so much of it because we had to try and get the hand right and the lighting right. And it was probably about two hours of me trying to eat this Jello covered in sugar. And then you're up all night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then writing, Colt, when she holds the pen, I don't know what, her fingers were all like over top of each other, and she was <laughs> writing, and I had to try and just make match kind of her writing as Helena while matching her hand, and it was complicated but fun. Oh. Yeah, cool. see, if, if Helena hadn't done the tail dance at the end of season one, 
I would picture her as dancing like some sort of nightmare vision out of a Japanese horror film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like all contorted wear yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Don't you think? Crawling and like all jerky of, movements. Crawling and... out of a television. Yeah, and stuff. <laughs> like in, in a spider crawl yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It would be just creepy. And wearing that dress. <sighs> Not good. Not good. <laughs> So, what, yeah, we just started episode four. There's ten in yeah. season two? Okay. Yeah. So, I don't have to start jonesing for season three yet. Oh, yeah. Let so, lots, lots to happen. Okay. Yeah. But that's not a denial that there won't be a season three then. Do you even I know? Don't know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody knows Hopefully. yet. Hopefully. I, I would think so. I think Graham and John kind of know where it's going. Yeah. I think so. I think, I think it's going to be one of those series that has a set beginning and a set end. They, yeah. I think they know. Like where it's gonna end up, I think. Yeah. yeah. Which would be good. <laughs> Meanwhile, they'll watch this and be like, "No, we just sit at home drunk and like, let's have yeah. another phone. Let's do this. What happens yet? How many do you think we can put in one room? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Graham being like, "No, we can't do this," and John be like, "Let's do it. It's cool. <laughs> just put all of them in once. <laughs> just have like a factory of yeah. them or something." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No green screen. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Because I was looking, I was looking through your pictures on IMDb, mm-hmm. where it's got, where it's got very familiar scenes from Orphan Black, but of course it's got you and Tad instead of just you know all Tad. I'm like, yeah. oh, <laughs> and everything just. I mean, it looks exactly the same, and just that little bit different. I'm like. Yeah. That is so cool. And it, it, it makes me want to go back and rewatch the entire series again and just pay attention to all these little things, like the insets and, and just the way she reacts, well, with herself, but also what I know is, is you now, which is just mm-hmm. so cool. Yeah. Like I said, you're like the, the Easter egg, which is <laughs> so cool. And it's not meant in any way as, as, as an insult. I mean, that's, I love finding Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my that's favorite awesome. thing. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's just so cool that... You're in there. You're there. It's, you're, your fingerprints are all over the show, but not everybody knows that. Yeah, and I think it's cool. So and it's cool, cool when there's like another character and more than one clone. They all react to each clone differently too. Right? Like they talk to them differently and they interact with them differently. Yeah. And and it's for the the other actors. Like Jordan often has to play off of me instead of Tad, yeah. depending on how we film it. Oh and, yeah. Or if Tat's just too busy, then you know someone else will have to. They'll have to do their coverage yeah. using yeah. me. So it's an interesting role that I have to play and, and make sure that I'm giving them everything that that yeah. Tat would be in that, or trying to yeah. give them everything that she would be in as close. And, and really just, it's yeah, great. Yeah, she's had to act, act opposite a tennis ball before yeah. <laughs> and like an X on the wall or whatever. Yeah. But it's so different when you can have, when you can actually play the scene as opposed to just play half the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the stuff for, like, Jordan and stuff, if, if Tat's off shooting somewhere else, which I'm assuming would be, you know, first unit, are you guys then, like, the second unit of this Usually, unit? yeah. Which sounds kind of less, but I think it's it's almost like two first units. Yeah. Really. Yeah. That's yeah. still pretty big. There's a lot that happens in each episode, and <laughs> not much time to film right? it. Right, yeah. When you're using one actress, it's... Yeah. There's lots of juggling things around so it's, it's so, pretty intense but it's great and those are going to be really full days I mean yeah. we're talking what 8, 10, 12 14, 16 14, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. more in season more 1 like that. yeah season 1 was <laughs> was tougher for sure but that's of course you're establishing the world and, and getting used to everything yeah. whereas now the technology think, yeah. and we didn't really know how long a three clone scene would take in season 1 and now so. you guys can kind of plan for that yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is good yeah and yet they're still going to do it anyway. They're going to oh, yeah, Let's yeah. put another... It's time Let's to introduce a new clone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's just... Oh. <laughs> yeah. And poor little Kira. What's going on there? Yeah. Poor little Kira. I don't know. And what do you think of Cal? Cal? See, I don't want to give anything away. I, I just don't want... I don't want you to give anything I away. I think Cal's great. Right. It was great working with, with Mikael. And... And just like seeing him on set and read throughs, mm. um, I think Cal. It's I heard about Cal coming in maybe in season one, so okay. I knew they were going to introduce um, Kira's father at some point. Oh, I don't want to give it away. There. My no, family, but still. <laughs> my family is all like, "No, she's lying to him." 
and she may be, so okay. I can't say anything. Cause it depends what people think. It's okay. a mystery. You never know. People are never what they actually seem. I'm yeah, like, well, I guess. Yeah. It's all up in the air. Well, and uh, he was even like, what is this? You just like yeah, show up in my she, house, and she's yeah. like, are you my daddy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, really? Where did that come from? <laughs> Kira's intuition. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, genius kid. Okay. But yeah, I think I think it's an interesting storyline for sure, and has lots of places to go. Oh, really Julia Richings is in there. Yeah, yeah he's like him. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, oh, I was just kind of like cows. Just I think he might be the only normal character so far who might not have an agenda. I think he was legitimately screwed over by Sarah at some point, and now you know, Sarah's kind of come back into his life and it's going to screw him up again. But I think for the most part he's. <laughs> I was just living. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's that was the in- impression I got. So if something else changes, I'm gonna be a little upset with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, dude. Like <laughs> <'Cause laughs> me with Mrs. S. I'm like, right? I'm so naive because I want to trust her so badly, but I don't know if I can. But anything she says, I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 must be you true. say so, yeah. it must be all right. Yeah. Uh. I just, yeah, I love that everything, everybody seems to have, there's always at least one other agenda going on in the show, which is just so smart. Love it. And it's I love the fact that you're so involved, and you're there, and you're doing stuff. And I do, too. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got that, we've got that. I'm trying to think of other stuff. I know, what covered. else did we talk about? We talked about your... Bates you Motel. Bates Motel. Yes, watch cool. it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Basically, just, it's a good show. Yeah. I kind of want to be on it, so if you want to cast me, that's fine. Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, just match those shooting schedules up. Yeah. I bet, you know, it could happen. Totally could happen. Why not? I think it could. And it's a short season, too. Yeah. So, yeah. so as long as they're not shooting at the same time as Orphan Black. No. Boom. Yeah. Totally It's happened. a great show. Yeah. It's really Totally. Fun. I think that's awesome. Or from Black, Saturday nights on space. Watch it. Yes, please. I just, oh, so good. More now. I, and, and I got so mad at space, although I love space, <laughs> that all they did was send me the first four episodes. <laughs> and I'm like, really? You know I'm just going to buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Anyway, you're going to send me all ten? <laughs> Not events. Because <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what happens now. I just... It's it's one of the. But very can you imagine sitting on the whole season before I totally anybody could. else? Gets I could to totally watch imagine it. sitting on. You were just talking about like. I was thinking the first nine and making up to wait a whole season. Oh, you <laughs> dick! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I could totally happily sit on that. I'd, I'd wander around. Yeah, but you just talked about how hard it was to I know, wait five weeks. But for I would I would happily do it. <laughs> I would just be like, just wait till you get to episode ten. <laughs> yeah, but then that just takes all the enjoyment away from people. Yep, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm glad. Like, don't ever send him anything again. <laughs> In showcase, whenever you want to send me season two of Defiance, I am there. Don't do it. I am so there. <laughs> so that's, that's my other show. But yeah, like Orphan Black, I have to watch like as soon as I can. It's one of the only shows I do. And, and 24. Yeah, 24. 24 yeah. and Orphan Black are the only shows that I need to watch as soon as I can. Everything else I can, can kind of like, I'll wait till, you know, when I have a chance. Like I will stay up. To, you know, as soon as the link for 24 goes online, I'll be like, I will watch it right now. <laughs> 12 o'clock, I don't care. So, and the same with Orphan Black. I have to see it, like, as soon as I can. Yes. Yeah, it's right. a really addictive television because it's smart. Yeah. And it doesn't talk down. It doesn't talk down to its viewers. Yeah. It, it no. says these viewers are smart and they can follow these storylines. Yeah. If I you love. can't, <laughs> too bad. You have to watch, watch it again. again, again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I Catch love up. that. Yeah. Perfect. Kevin, yeah. I think that's excellent. That's pretty okay. awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. everyone who works on the show is so great. From writing and mm-hmm. everyone behind the scenes and everyone in front of the camera. Awesome. Yeah. I love yeah. it. So you've got that. You've got your short film coming up. It's a big demented family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's delirious at 16-hour mark. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't. Well, I could probably do that if I really thought about it. If I was doing something I liked, yeah, it would be different. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, if I say what I do every yeah, day, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I was doing something like that, I think I'd just be, yeah, let's do this thing. I mean, sure, there'd be times where my energy's gonna flag, but I yeah. think for the most part, I'm like, yeah, let's go. You just wanted to the you craft could just table, eat bread, right? Yeah, and just eight <laughs> bowls of sugar yeah. jello. And yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Those saran wrap PB and J's are always good. Yeah. Oh, it's true. <laughs> but Catherine, thank you for finding the time to you know. 
Not only sit through this once, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> and Lindsay, thanks for the hard work behind and saving everything you can. Yes. We do appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't just jinx that. There we go. <clears throat> and so, Tim. That was good. It was very Orphan good. Orphan Black episodes. I love it. And then next week, stay tuned for Matthew Bennett, you know, who was also a Cylon, too. So that'll be our first like, Galactica Cylon. guest. Which is really going back, and I'm sure he'll be really impressed that we know that he was like, Cylon. I don't know, but whatever. But. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> and, of course, Daniel on Orphan Black. So Orphan Black, double episode for us. Wicked. I don't know where that came from. I'm tired, and I just want to go home to go to bed. <laughs> and it was supposed to be Wixom, just for my buddy Lindsay behind me. Because <laughs> he hates that. I don't know why. <laughs> so anyway, thank you everybody at home for watching uh, I am actually feeling kind of punch drunk right now I'm, I'm actually yeah I'm starting to lose it really quick so we're gonna go <laughs> we have another whole work day tomorrow uh, yes oh, thank you <laughs> everybody thank you for watching at home Sue thank you as always Tim thank you Catherine thank you thank you too thank you so much and for having me thank you and good night thanks for watching <laughs>